Hey, if it like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest. Uh, this episode, nothing but good news for the tank. Um, however, with the COVID-19 that's on the go and having to isolate and stuff, I uh, really do hope that you guys are all again, keeping safe and your families are doing well and everything's all good. Um, scary times that we're living in just now. So I am in lockdown as well at the moment. Um, this is like my second week of isolation, hence why <laughs> um, I think I'm kind of losing the plot. <laughs> but uh, uh, well, <laughs> you've got to have some fun. So back to the tank. Um, the dinoflagellate's completely gone. And how I got rid of this? Well, basically, I just stopped stressing about it. I uh, started doing some bubble scrubbing, so I did bubble scrubbing for about a week and I also added the second UV steriliser, 25 watt and Evolution Aquas and it's awesome. And I did a really large water change to start with before I started those things and got them going. A couple of weeks later dinoflagellates completely disappeared and the tank's been dinoflagellate free for about three weeks now so it's totally awesome corals corals are starting to bounce back uh, i did get some freebies i got a dragon breath and i got a lime in the sky got them for free because they were both absolutely bleached out and so I just go that, I took them and put them in my tank. So if they live, they live. If they dinner, they dinner. But I just thought I'd give them a bash, get them from the hand. So if I can bring them back, it's all good. If not, well, I've no lost anything. Uh, fish, all the fish are doing fantastic. No problems there. And like I said, some of the corals that I did lose, I managed to actually get fragments off of them. So although I've lost a good portion of what I had, I did manage to save a, a, save a couple. So the branching purple style four, I managed to get a frag of that. The table and acro that I had in the top right corner, managed to get a wee piece of that and it's like actually growing on another rock now. So that's fantastic. And everything else is just awesome. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, here's the sump. So everything's the same apart from I added an air pump and the air line is connected to a Aquamedic wooden air stone. This is then placed directly in front of my return pump and once it's on the bubbles get sucked up into the display and this is what they call bubble scrubbing. Loads of people have done it and I'm assuming loads of people still do. So I figured I would do this to see if this would help get rid of the dinoflagellates. Here we have the tank, absolutely covered in bubbles, and I just left this running. I started off gradually, so I would leave it for maybe five minutes, and then I increased the time, just to give everything a chance to get used to it, because the fish were freaking out when I first done it. Um, but yeah, they soon got used to it. So I did the bubble scrubbing for about a week and here's the, the new UV steriliser that I added. Now this thing is a monster, it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be and I couldn't actually fit it under the tank, there's just no room. I had to place it at the side of the tank. Um, <laughs> and as you can see it's a fair beastie like and needless to say the wife is not impressed so I need to kind of figure out a way to cover it and hide it out the road. So that's on the to-do list. But yeah, this thing's been working awesome, very easy to set up, and uh, it's really doing a fantastic job. And here's the display. And I'm absolutely delighted that the dino flagets is completely gone now. And there's been no dino in the tank now for at least three weeks, so that's fantastic. So 
So, like I said, there's been no dyno for three weeks, so that's just brilliant and really happy with it. I don't bubble scrub anymore. I just did that for about a week just to try and get all the dyno and get everything just up and into the filter socks and into the water column so the UV could get rid of all the nasties. But here's my hand so you can get an idea of how big this thing is. So yeah, I've got to try and figure out a way to get this thing covered. Happy wife makes a happy life as they say. And I've just got like a wee duck bill return thing here. So the extra flow in the tanks and the extra flow through the sump's pretty good like so. All in all, very happy. Okay, so let's have a look at the livestock that's survived. Everything's doing really well. So I managed to rescue a piece of the red Monty and I've placed that on that wee overhang there. I've lifted the cut of up off the sand bed, so at least it can't wreck any snails anymore. I've now placed my Gorgonian down on the bottom. I managed to save a piece of that purple pink branching stylophora, so really happy with that. And the table and acro that I did have on the, the back right hand corner, I managed to get a piece of that and it's growing really well on that wee piece of rock. I've got a new wee frag, beach bum, so hoping that's going to take off there. Everything else seems to be recovering nicely. Got a new little frag of a green bird's nest, so hopefully that will fill in that area. And here's the red monty I've just placed at the side there. I've moved my toadstool, it was just getting a bit too big where it was. I've also added this electric green plate in Montipora. It's really nice, so hopefully it'll do well in that spot. And I've got like a couple of little rescue frags that I got. I um, got them for nothing, so just seeing if I can maybe bring them back to life, but it's looking doubtful. My strawberry shortcake, it took a beating and um, that dino outbreak in a hand, so it's looking pretty poor just now, so hopefully it'll pick up. So overall, everything's back to the way it should be. Really happy with it. Polyps extension is now very good, but there's a flame angel in here, and if they stick it, their polyps too far out, he usually gives it a wee nip like, but otherwise, all their polyps comes out at night time when the Vulcan's fast asleep. So, Duncan, looking beautiful as ever. The Recordia garden is starting to look bonny again. My Blastomosa. The Joker Acropora is really starting to take off again. And the green Monty at the top there. And it's a lime in the sky rescue coral I got at the top there. Hopefully can bring that back. So I think it's about time that we introduce the crew of Dead Man's Chest.
that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Well, that's it for this episode, shipmates. Happy reefing, thanks for watching, and until the next one, bye bye.